My name is Dr Tom Kelly. I'm in the Department of Zoology in the School of Bees in University College Cork. We've been coming down here now for 17 years and in that time we've seen some very dramatic changes, probably brought about by what is called the North Atlantic Oscillation. So the pressure in the North Atlantic is normally a high pressure over Iberia and a low pressure over Iceland. But during the winter, sometimes this changes and the result is a very dry, warm winter down here and a very wet, warm winter in Northern Europe. And what's been happening in the interval that we've been down here is that we've had this long succession of dry winters. It changed for the first time about 2008-9 when the North Atlantic Oscillation suddenly flipped and you had a high pressure over Iceland and a low pressure over Iberia, a lot of winter rain and the vegetation was completely different and a lot of the insects and, and other associated animals were also different. So we, we, we've been monitoring this over the period that we've been down here and it's very interesting to see it. It's also interesting to see how development has encroached on the coastal zone, which is obviously the most highly valued zone in the area, and a huge range of new buildings and golf courses and other comparable developments have appeared out of, out of nowhere. The area that we work in, the Salgados, which is lying behind me, is probably one of the last remaining outstanding wetland habitats along this coast. And we obviously value it very, very highly. It's outstanding for teaching students, for showing them the basic um, features of the Iberian Peninsula, but also providing a very valuable and stark contrast with Ireland. And the interesting thing, of course, is that we have at the moment in the south of Britain, for example, a winter drought, a very, very unusual event. Similarly here, they haven't had rain until last night for 300 days. So this kind of pattern is going to come eventually to Ireland, and it's important for students to see what the impact of it is, to see where water shortages become major problems, and so on. The module that we are studying down here with third science students in the School of Bees is field ecology, where they are expected to gain a fairly thorough understanding of the major forces that act on animals and plants in different bioclimatic zones of the world. Obviously, we can only compare Ireland with Portugal, with the Algarve more specifically. And we have with us Professor Matthias Gauten, who talks a lot about the, the important effects of moisture availability, of ambient temperature, and how the animals, and particularly the plants, are adapted to this dry, arid zone. And it is important for students to see the contrast between what they would normally associate with typical Ireland, South Coast, and the South Coast of Portugal, because there are very dramatic differences. And the animals have to adapt to the extraordinarily dry, warm conditions that exist down here, as compared with the relatively moist and humid conditions in, in Ireland. So the students get an excellent Contra contrast with the situation in Ireland and that provides them with some insight into what the effect of climate change will ultimately prove to be. And climate change is really an important event that in the long run will have a major impact on how we all live.